Wow, so the time has finally come and we are now officially less than just 14 days away from the day that will change Neo as we know it forever. So I hope you are strapped in for the ride because not only are we going to be covering the true significance behind Neo Day, but even more importantly, we're going to be going over two major catalysts along with some absolutely earth shattering breaking news that will have massive implications on Neo stock going forward. So you are not going to want to miss this because this is going to be a really good one. So I am beyond excited to share this information with you guys and I'd appreciate an early thumbs up as these videos do take a really long time to make. But with that being said, let's not waste any more time, let's get right into it. Now to put things into perspective and for you to truly understand the magnitude of importance of this first catalyst, you have to realize that Neo CEO William Lee Bin was already a multi-billionaire well before he ever founded Neo, and thus his vision for the company has always been long-term focused. So much so in fact that in a recent interview he revealed that since 2012 when they first had the idea to 2015 when they were actually starting Neo, every decision that they've made up until now including the very chassis of their vehicles all revolved around one main vision. Battery swaps but more specifically battery as a service which is a business model that as usual just as they slept on Tesla for so many years the majority of analysts worldwide are failing to truly grasp just how much of a difference maker this will be for Neo, which is incredible for us as investors because it gives us a golden opportunity to get in at the ground floor. And trust me, there is a reason why William Lee Bin has dedicated more than 8 years of his life to build out the infrastructure necessary in order to make his ultimate vision possible. Let me explain. So what you have to realize is that battery as a service is truly uncharted territory in that it is the first of its kind and it is a business model that has never been done before in the automotive industry and especially not at this scale. But there is a reason why in the business world the subscription model is king and why we are seeing massive industries getting disrupted left and right by companies who are embracing it. Because not only do subscription models offer a plethora of benefits to consumers which in this case includes being able to subtract up to $10,000 from the upfront cost of their vehicles, which will unquestionably increase demand drastically by making Neo vehicles more affordable. But also what most people are not realizing is that this leads not only to a more predictable revenue stream, but also one that is compounding over time, which will ultimately lead to significantly higher revenues. Just think about it, if Neo sells 120,000 vehicles next year and 30% of their customers choose to opt in for battery as a service, meaning that they will be paying around $140 a month to rent their battery directly from Neo. That alone would amount to annual recurring revenues of around $60 million, which in the large scheme of things is still peanuts. But what happens the following year when they'll likely sell near 300,000 vehicles? You see that's when things start to get really interesting and when the real magic starts to become very apparent. Nice. And don't even get me started on the possibilities when we start talking about 5 to 10 years down the road. So don't get it twisted, in the beginning this new revenue stream will look extremely insignificant and will actually likely even have a negative impact on revenues in the short term as they are taking less money up front. But just imagine over the long term when potentially hundreds of thousands of customers are paying monthly for their batteries instead of just making a one time payment. So mark my words. This matters and it will be an absolute game changer for Neo. And you can be damn sure that Neo is well aware of this and thus why just last week they struck another key partnership with State Grid EV which is a government owned subsidiary and is the largest utility company in the world and they will be helping Neo to build over 100 new battery swapping stations in 2021 alone. So they are wasting no time expanding and the Chinese government is continuing to do everything within their power to help them dominate. Because not only are they giving them the upper hand against foreign competitors like Tesla, by continuously cutting subsidies for electric vehicles that do not support battery swapping capabilities, but even more so in locations like Beijing, which is the second largest city in China by population, they have literally made it nearly impossible to even register a vehicle that is not electric. In fact, only one out of every 800 non-electric vehicles actually end up getting registered. So the future is electric and China is making this crystal clear 
for everyone to see. Also, real quick, I just want to say, wow, you guys are absolutely incredible. And our channel has just hit a massive milestone here on YouTube as our family has now officially grown to over 100,000 of you beautiful people who have chosen to be part of our movement. And to say that I am forever grateful for the tremendous amount of love and support that you guys have given me over the past couple of months would be the biggest understatement ever. But the purpose of this is not just to say thank you, but more importantly, I'd like to share a quick little story with you guys that I hope helps you along your journey as much as realizing this has helped me. You see, believe it or not, my entire life, I've been an introvert at heart, and I've always absolutely despised being in front of a camera. In fact, I would avoid it at literally all costs. So much so, in fact, that when I was in my last year of high school, I purposely skipped taking my graduation photo, even though deep down inside, I knew that I really wanted my photo in the yearbook. Not so much for myself, I could honestly care less, but for my parents, who didn't get the luxury to be able to go to high school because they had to start working at a very young age in order to help support their family. And so I knew that it would have meant a lot to them. But instead, I let my fears get the best of me and my school actually ended up making a whole page in the yearbook dedicated for people just like me who didn't show up when it counted. So the main point that I want to get across is you should never let your fears hold you back from your greatness. And throughout my journey, one of the biggest realizations that I've had was that not only is failure and being willing to feel vulnerable, okay, but even more so, it is essential and a precursor to success itself. So just remember, you should never be scared to fail because in life, the biggest risk that you can take is not taking any risk. So make sure that you show up when it counts the most. But with that being said, I just want to say that I have never been more passionate about something in my life as I am about our community. And I cannot wait to help each and every one of you to reach your financial goals quicker. And it's not so much about reaching a certain amount of money, but instead it's about the freedom that having money enables us to have. Because at the end of the day, money is just a tool that empowers us by giving us the freedom to do the things that we truly want to do with our lives. Whether that be to spend more time with our loved ones, travel the world or pursue our passions money gives us the freedom to choose instead of being at the mercy of what others want us to do with our time which is always by far and away our most valuable asset that we can never get back so i can't wait to help you along your journey and if you haven't already joined the family what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and join the best family on youtube but now let's get back to business and start getting into the really good stuff because come january 9th Neo as we know it will be changed forever. And mind you that this is no exaggeration because as confirmed by several sources, Neo is scheduled to unveil their highly anticipated first ever sedan, which will be directly competing with the Tesla Model 3. And it will fill a huge gap in the market for Neo, as their offerings are currently only limited to SUVs. And considering that more than half of the Chinese car market prefers sedans, this will be a tremendous growth driver for Neo. Also, Li Hong, one of the co-founders of Neo, in a recent interview revealed that they will also be unveiling an autonomous solution that is more powerful than anything currently on the market, which sounds like he is hinting at the fact that through their partnership with Intel's Mobileye, that they have already achieved level four autonomy, which would be massive because this would signify the point where the vehicle would be able to do the vast majority of the driving without almost any human intervention being necessary whatsoever. Not to mention that they will also likely be confirming their European expansion plans, as well as making available their 150 kilowatt hour batteries, which will enable a range of well over 550 miles on a single charge. Plus they are scheduled to introduce their new second generation of battery swapping stations, which are rumored to be capable of performing up to 400 battery swaps per day, which is more than four times the capabilities of their current stations. And guys, just remember, if these are the things that they have already willingly let us know about well ahead of time, just imagine the level of confidence that they must have on the plethora of secrets and surprises that they undoubtedly have in store for us. So I've said it before and I'll say it again, what we are witnessing now is nothing in comparison to what they will achieve going forward. And I am becoming even more confident that Neo will 10x over the next five years. Also, as if all of that was not already enough, we had some breaking news that just came out this week 
in which GAC Neo, which is a joint venture between Guangdong Automotive Group and Neo Inc., is currently in negotiations with the Beijing municipal government. And if talks continue to go smoothly, it seems likely that this could lead to yet another huge investment directly from the Chinese government in return for moving their headquarters or for potentially establishing a new manufacturing base in Beijing. Now to put this in perspective for you guys, Neo Inc. owns about a 45% stake in GAC Neo. Now as we all know, Neo caters to the higher end luxury automobile market and that's not going to change anytime soon. But now here's what makes this deal so interesting. You see GAC Neo's very purpose and vision is to mass produce electric vehicles that are as affordable as possible. In fact, in order to accomplish this, they plan on keeping their margins as low as humanly possible, as they do not wish to make any money whatsoever from selling their physical hardware, in this case meaning the vehicle itself. But instead they wish to make all of their money from upsells in services and software, which is a business model that is growing in popularity more and more nowadays, with massive companies like Amazon choosing to sell their extremely popular Kindle devices at cost or even at a loss many times in order to acquire customers significantly faster and to then make the majority of their profits through digital purchases made on the device. But now this story doesn't just end there because Badu, which is literally the Google of China, made headlines last week when they announced their plans to manufacture their very own electric vehicles. And this is a big deal because many believe that Badu is one of the leading companies in China that is in the race to solve full self-driving with the end goal of releasing a fleet of robo-taxis. Now this part is more speculative, but GAC Group did just sign a strategic partnership with Badu, which has led many to speculate that this could open up the possibility of a partnership between GAC Neo and Badu. Now this is truly a developing story, and as always I'll keep you guys posted as more information becomes available. But what this does mean is that Neo could potentially be benefiting from both the higher end luxury market as well as indirectly through GAC Neo from the lower end mass production market as well, which would be tremendous. But we'll have to wait and see if this truly ends up coming to fruition. But even without factoring this possibility in at all, guys, I am becoming more and more bullish on Neo stock, and I've now been recommending their stock on this channel since they were trading at under $12 a share, and even at today's prices. As my Patreon family members already know, I am still adding even more to my position, and this is because I am confident that this is a 10x opportunity in the making that you do not want to miss out on. Not to mention that in this video, I didn't even have the time to touch on China's blossoming economy, which has continued to grow despite the pandemic, nor Neil's cult-like following that has now led to them having yet another increase in customer referrals from 52% last year to now ending the year with it being well over 62%, which makes Neo both the highest ranking premium brand and the highest ranking overall brand, beating out legendary companies like BMW, Mercedes-Benz, and even Tesla in the process, which really speaks to the quality of Neo vehicles. Also, I just recently started my very first Twitter account where I will be sharing my most inner thoughts on topics that I'm extremely passionate about, such as entrepreneurship, investing, mindset, and more importantly, the steps that I took to live a happier and more fulfilling life. So if these are things that would interest you, then consider following me along my journey on Twitter, and the link will be in the description box below. Also, real quick, I just got some big news from Webull, as they have just let me know that if you use my link, for a limited time only, they are now offering 4 completely free stocks valued up to $1600 just for signing up and depositing $100 into your account. So I don't know about you, but I've always loved me some free money. So if you don't already have a Webull account, then I definitely recommend you take advantage of this offer. I personally use their platform for some of my portfolios and it's extremely easy to use, free and featured pack. So give it a shot and let me know what free stocks you end up getting. Now if you found any value in this video at all, and I hope you did, please make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on that notifications bell. Also I love talking to you guys and I always try my very best to reply to as many comments as possible. So let me know your thoughts on Neo, and let me know what stocks or topics you want me to talk about next in the comment section below. But with that being said, especially if you made it to this point in the video, I have so much love for you, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you all have an absolutely amazing rest of your day. Peace.